one and the PlayStation 4 right around the corner. I've been trying to catch up with a lot of games I haven't beat yet on this current console generation. And one of them I've already beaten, but I'm actually interested in playing again, is Deus Ex Human Revolution, the Director's Cut. Now the original version of it I actually did love. I loved the hell out of it. I loved the, the stealth parts of it. I loved running and gunning. I just loved the, the atmosphere. Of course, one of my favorite movies is Blade Runner. It had a big Blade Runner influence in the way the city looks. It had more of a Robocop influence, a little bit of Metal Gear Solid influence on the way the game played and the storyline. And the game is just brilliant. Now, I actually thought, I actually considered picking up a Wii U just to play this game because I love the original so much. But, of course, I just get the PlayStation 3 version because I have a PlayStation 3 and um, I give that a shot. But, because comparing the two together, I want to bring up Robocop, the remake. When I first heard they were going to do a remake of Robocop, I thought that was a brilliant idea. Now, I love the original Robocop, and I'm usually against remakes, but in this situation, I saw Deus Ex Human Revolution as a way to reboot Robocop. The original touched on the fact that he was no longer human, he was trying to fight his humanity. Deus Ex Human Revolution touches on the same kind of storyline, and it questions humanity versus machine and what's going too far with science. So. I like the idea of Robocop being rebooted, where he actually deals with the fact that he's no longer human, he's trying to find a humanity back, and he's struggling with the mechanical cyborg side of himself. And I didn't want a, a, a exact remake of the original movie, I think there's no way they can actually do the original movie over, and I think if they did their own thing, it's, it, it's perfect, you know, why not take an idea and that's been copied so many times, there's been so many fake Robocop movies out there. People have imitated it so many times. Why not take the original property and actually do something different with it? I mean, if they're going to do it anyway, why not do it completely different? And I think they actually caught on to the idea of dealing with the fact that he is part man, part machine, as the poster says, all cop. And I, I really like the idea of where they're going with it. I don't think it has to be rated R. I don't think that's necessary for them to get their point across. The original Robocop was ultra violent. It was ultra violent. And it didn't, it didn't need that. If you take all the violence away from Robocop, it's still a really good movie. And I think catching that storyline and taking and just running with it, basically doing something totally different, is the best thing to do. And like I said, Deus Ex, Human Revolution, the director's cut, I really do want to pick this up. I beat the original version of it. I haven't had a chance to actually get my hands on the director's cut. I'm currently playing a couple of games I missed already that I haven't had a chance to really get into. I'm currently playing The Last of Us. I'm currently playing Bioshock Infinite. So after I get done with that, I would definitely pick up Human Revolution and put it next to my other copy of Human Revolution because I want to collect those. I actually love this game. I think anyone who hasn't played it need to get their hands on it. I think it's sad that a lot of people have never played any first-person shooters other than Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare or Call of Duty in general. And I think that's a crime because there are so many different first-person shooters or first-person games in general out there you can play that has a different feel to it or has more to think about than just sending your gun on someone and pull the trigger. There's plenty of things you can do in Deus Ex Human Revolution that just mind-blowing. I mean, there's a lot of there's times I cleared missions without even firing your single gun. It was just stealth kills. And, you know, the game is fun. You don't have to kill anyone. You know, you can sneak around. You can play the game any way you want to. You can build your character up any way you want to. And I know a lot of people complain about the original, saying that the boss fights were a certain way. And I didn't experience that. I actually liked the boss fights. Now, I did build my character up to be more aggressive. So that maybe paid off a little better for me. But I, I'm really curious what they do with the boss fights in this, in this game, or this particular version of it. The boss battles are going to be crazy for right here. New weapons, the DLC is added on. I'm really interested in seeing, to playing it, seeing how it's like. And of course, like I said, I have to compare it to Robocop because there's a lot of shit going on. They're talking a lot of smack about the Robocop remake. And I think it doesn't really deserve it. I think, personally, the trailer, I like it. I like the way the trailer looks. I wish I'd seen more of it. I hope they go on a certain route and it's not going to be too watered down. I know it's going to be PG-13 most likely. But I don't think PG-13 hurts anything. Avengers was PG-13. The Dark Knight was PG-13. So I don't think a rating can actually hold something down. I think the violence doesn't need to be overplayed. As long as we get a really good storyline for Robocop, I'm in there. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping 
that Deus Ex, Evil Revolution, Director's Cut, sells enough for them to finally make another sequel to it, because I'm really looking forward to the next Deus Ex video game in the franchise. I'm going to tell you that they're alive, you're coming with me. I never asked for this.